My first two workdays in Australia, the group actually toured James Cook University, or JCU, rather than going to Ames for the day. On Monday, we were given tours of various projects being conducted at the university, including software developments to model the impact of climate change on almost any species of animal or plant in the terrestrial world. We met someone who was working on the coding and software end of a project to track cows and their way to improve the efficiency of livestock farms. On Tuesday, we actually went to the facility where JCU was conducting their study that corresponds to the programming for the cows. When it's done, the facility had a few projects being run while we were there. In addition to tracking cows' weights with encoded ear tags, they were also examining the effect of cows' diets on the amount of methane released into the atmosphere. It was super cool to see how the university is bringing together field skills with real-life applications and programming for optimizing everyday life as a computer model. I'm currently working on a project with Ames to breed and rear an animal called the giant triton snail. And these tritons are a very rare species on the Great Barrier Reef. And we're having a very hard time rearing these triton snails because they produce tens of thousands of larvae every single time they spawn. But these larvae are not having an easy time surviving and they have only seen millimeters of growth after years of raising these larvae and so we are working on specialized tanks for them doing feeding trials basically doing anything we can to get these larvae to grow so we can successfully rear triton snails and reintroduce them to the great barrier reef zoe and i are working on a drifter project a drifter is designed to float with or drift with ocean currents uh, at the surface and so the drifter that we are working on will have a set of electronics to gather in situ data as well as track the drifter's location. Ames has plans to deploy a large quantity of these drifters, uh, but ideally they won't have to recollect them. So that's where Zoe and I come in because we are trying to design a completely biodegradable drifter that will be able to function six months and then degrade in a way that is desirable for the environment. To end the week, on Saturday night, we went over to our supervisor's house for a barbecue and spent the night getting to know our supervisor and his family, as well as Mel, one of the women overseeing our projects for the summer. It's been amazing to getting to know both Lyndon, our supervisor, and Mel, both in terms of their work at the Australian Institute for Marine Science, or Ames, and outside. We were lucky enough to get rides to work with them, so we end up spending the car rides learning more about them as people and what they do at Ames. Mel has proven to have a particularly relevant anecdote for every topic of conversation imaginable. Of course, we have had time for fun while we've been here. We've gotten into the habit of going to Taco Tuesday at one of the local indoor markets and restaurants in town. We've taken bike rides around Townsville to the Strand and to Castle Hill to do some exploring of our new home. We also went to a market on Sunday morning that was set up in a mall parking lot. I bought more fruit than I could carry and I can confidently say we are more than enjoying our time across the world.